everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a mystery message for you singles. I will be bringing out a more cheekier version coming soon, a more saucier version that will be coming soon to my channel. So if you are interested in that, please stay tuned. Um, and please subscribe if down below if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much for being here. We're gonna be doing your singles mystery message today. We have three groups here. We have group number one with the rose quartz, group two with the Amazonite, and group three with the Selenite. So please, whatever group draws you in, and if you're not too sure, just take a deep breath in, a deep breath out, and really tune into your heart and see which one is drawing you number one, two, or three and there's no wrong answers just wanted to say that so as usual all the timestamps will be down below in the description box and in the comment section and if you would like to get a private reading with me all that information is down below along with my crystal shop so let's get started with my lovely group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on for you guys and let's see what you guys are attracting in love what's going on for you what honest message do you need to know right now from the universe and let's see so we have the rose quartz here so let's see what card you guys got we have love's protection that is so beautiful so we're also going to pull um, a couple more of these let's see what wants to come through inspired action lots of solar plexus stuff going on lots of confidence situations like really working on your confidence working on that intuition getting you more comfortable with tuning into your intuition we have you are unfolding love's protection and inspired action tending to your love underneath the deck so what i feel for you guys is you are being drawn to put yourself in a position where you are the most important person okay you are being asked to make sure that everything you do is because of you yeah everything you do is because of you and basically i feel like because you are single right now in this situation um you're being asked to really see yourself so authentically authentically as possible and to protect yourself as much as possible from bad energies okay i'm talking about people toxic energies possibly even ghosties that you don't want around you um selenite and sage in yourself incensing yourself will be absolutely amazing for you um and i just really feel like you're learning right now to protect yourself protect your energy protect your time because when you are going to manifest your person when you are going to be in a relationship it's really important to not just surrender your entire being to a human, like that's kind of what you've done before. Um, that's why you are being very protected by your guides as well right now, because <clears throat> that's why you're not around anyone. That's why maybe you haven't got a lot of tribes around you or a lot of friends, because you're really learning to tune into what your needs are. And sometimes it takes us being by ourselves to really like literally get us to focus on ourselves like intensely so we don't get distracted um as boring as it is you're really getting yeah you're really getting to know yourself even though it does feel a little bit boring what i just keep hearing i'm bored i'm bored i'm bored okay so let's get you a couple of runes and let's see what else wants to come through and then we're going to pull you some tarot and we'll get you some more oracle cards so we have the lagos lake imagination healing emotions and dreams and then this one got my little book here this one is needs, self-care, survival and endurance. So you're basically feeling very emotional at the moment. You're feeling like you're really releasing a lot of old wounds, especially to do with the masculine, um, whether you are into masculines or not into men, possibly into people that are quite masculine or just men in, in particular. You are really working on your relationship with your own masculine and others masculine. So basically where people have overdone it with you. So basically where they've over asserted themselves where they've gone too much on you and it's drained you you're learning to be like i don't have to be a victim to that anymore and if there are people around you who are obsessive who are intense like too intense to the point where you're draining yourself it's really important to come out of those situations as much as possible and that means like taking an hour out of your from away from home just to go for a walk or you know talking to a friend there's a sense of like making sure that every day you are changing up your needs and self-care because not every day is going to be exactly the same and because these energies are so intense at the moment you know it's it's 
very, we have to go with the tides. Um, so needs, self-care, survival and endurance. You guys really have put your needs above other, you put, you've put others' needs above your needs because that's what you've been taught. So that's definitely something you are reversing is something you are unwinding and i really feel like you're learning to just sit with your shit which i know is uncomfortable but you are really learning to just sit with it right now um and then we have this imagination healing emotions and dreams what i really feel like would be really good for you to do is to listen to some music and have a little dance and just really envision the partner that you want the life that you want because your life is going to bring in your man and your or your woman like it's not about you attracting this person being like i want a man with black hair i want a girl with blonde hair it's like it doesn't matter <laughs> like it's actually about your life because at the end of the day if you're not doing anything in your life to really make you happy and get you to, to a comfortable place you're just going to keep attracting people who you think who you think are going to love you but they're not because you're attracting people from a really desperate place um trying to fill in a gap basically so you've been in survival mode for a very very long time and you've had to endure a lot of people who are just so obsessive um and basically what's going to get you out of this uncomfortable feeling is imagination dreams and childlike energy so anything from dancing to running to music to artwork to having a bath there's things that you have to do every day to really cleanse your energy but there's a sense of like i'm get, i'm hearing i need to get myself moving so there's a need for you to really move your body and to um be sexual with yourself as well if there's like a self-care day that you could do like a little session with yourself if you know what i'm talking about then that'll be really good for you to do as well what i want you to do is just to slow the fuck down like there's a part of you that wants to speed up, um, that feels impatient, but what it's actually saying to you is to slow down and like listen to what you need. Um, but I do feel like exercise is super encouraged with this group because I feel like you guys are really sexually frustrated. Um, but you are just generally very frustrated in general. Like you're kind of tired of doing things for other people, being there for other people when they're just completely draining you. And why shouldn't you be pissed off? At the end of the day, if they're not giving you, if they're not authentically giving you what you need and they're not even like listening to what you need then they don't deserve a part a place in your life they really 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 don't um so let's get you a couple of cards we're also going to see if there's any any extra energies coming in so any people that want to come in um we're just going to get one of these we'll see what your what your focus is right now there we go your focus is to feel free your focus is to love yourself and to just literally feel free. There's nothing really to say more about it. It's like what freedom feels to you is most likely just feeling comfortable and safe and happy. And you're basically needing to stop holding yourself back or letting others hold you back. I'm hearing you have to step into the life that you want. And there is a quote, there is a quote that I found um, yesterday and it was like, oh yes, I love that. That just so resonates with me. Um, it says to get something you never had, you got to do something you've never done. And that's, I'm going to put that on my Instagram because that's amazing. Um, I really feel like that just resonated with me. I found it, um, well, I, I channeled it, but I wrote it down. <laughs> um, so basically we're going to, yeah, I'm going to put that in my Instagram because I think that's amazing. I got that very, I got that really strongly channeled. Like it was like, oh my God, yeah, that's amazing. Um, something like really triggered it. I was watching a YouTube video. And I was like, oh my God, this is like such a good quote that came in. So to get something you never had, you've got to do something you've never done. So if you want to attract that, that man, that woman that you really fucking want, you've got to start to really put yourself in a position of I am fucking sacred. I am sexy. I am gorgeous. I am stunning. I'm beautiful. You've got to trust. You've got to surrender to your faith and just be like, well, there's something I need to do but I'm scared of doing it but I'm going to do it anyway when you're ready you're going to do it like you're going to be pushed to go there okay feel the freedom it's time to fly and be free last one here rest so yeah that's what I'm saying you are being pushed to move out of your situation whatever situation it is but you're also being asked to rest that's why because at the end of the day if you have been running on adrenaline your entire life where you've been in survival mode when you stop running in when you stop running in circles and being in survival mode your body needs to rest so much and that's something I learned also yesterday I was watching a video and I was like oh my god that resonates so hard um it was like it was just saying yeah if you've been in survival mode for a really long time you actually need to give your body loads and loads of sleep. You need to sleep more because your body has been running, those adrenals have been running so high 
and you need to recharge your energy because you can't pour from an empty cup, which is what this card is saying. Um, but yeah, this basically is asking you to change your direction because this is going to this is going to bring you towards the person that you want to meet, that you actually want to be in a relationship with, not somebody that's just there for the sake of it. Because in the, the day, a lot of the time is, especially in this society, we're so closed off from community, we feel desperate a lot of the time to be with be with certain people because we are pushed to we don't want to be alone basically we don't want to feel singular and there's nothing wrong with being single there's nothing wrong with any of that but at the end of the day like we still need to have people around us otherwise we will feel alone that's an, a very extremely normal feeling um humans are community driven beings and society's put us in a position where they want to separate us which is exactly what they're trying to do so what i feel for you is i really want you to put yourself first even if something feels really uncomfortable and i'm sorry guys about my burn on my finger I burnt myself on a fire so I'm sorry if you can see that and it's like really like standing out this is lighting as well but yeah I really feel like for you it's just getting comfortable with saying no really getting yourself out of situations even if you're fucking terrified like you will be looked after and that's something that I'm definitely learning too there's a lot of stuff that I've done recently that's pushed me so far out my comfort zone um but it's like girl you can't feel like this low anymore like I felt so incredibly low um, and it wasn't good. It wasn't, I was not in a good place mentally. It was like, wow, I really don't want to be on this planet anymore. And I know what that feels like because I felt like that before. And a lot of the time is because I was in a space where I was not accepted. And if you're in that space, you can't give to yourself, and especially if you're an empath like myself. We give and give and give. And if there isn't somebody on the receiving end giving it back to us and feeding us up that mirror, then we're going to feel fucking drained because that's not normal. It's not normal for people to withhold love especially if you're giving it out willingly you know it's not normal so really being aware of that don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be drained because you deserve to have that love given back to you is this the right deck this is not the right deck is it they're not giving me the cards okay let's get you some tarot cards and then we'll pour a couple of um, astrology and we'll see if there's any people coming in so let's see what's going on in your love life they did my guides did like that deck but for some reason they weren't pulling any cards out this deck always gets cards yeah beautiful so we have the star this is the rider weight tarot this is my first tarot deck that i bought i absolutely love this tarot deck it is one of my absolute faves okay this is exactly what i was feeling so we have this energy of um you're being divinely guided to move away from something that makes you feel restricted you always feel like you're responsible for other people's crap and it's not yours to begin with um, it's what you've been pushed to believe and when you actually come out of the situation you're going to be so financially well off um, once you start doing things differently once you're brave enough to let go of that um that fear you're going to be really really comfortable with yourself so there's going to be a lot of goodness coming in there's a lot of fears that are holding you back because of course there is i mean you've been basically trained to feel low about yourself because that's what people have told you like they've made you feel like you aren't good enough as a human being and that's not okay that's not okay at all so what i feel is the next person coming in is going to really test you when it comes to intimacy um, you've definitely had a lot of people around you that make you feel very small and that causes separation. So when we have people around us who are who we're in a connection with, whether it be friends, family, a lover, whatever, if that person constantly makes you feel trapped and you think that's normal, then you're going to think that's normal and you're going to stay there. So when you're actually going to have somebody come into your life who is free and open and get offers you something that is really... Um, open-hearted you're going to think that you know you're going to be scared of it you might think it might be a lie you might think oh i'm not good enough to receive this anything like that it's not it's not that it's you feeling scared of being seen by your true self like being seen to be authentic about yourself and it's completely normal to feel like that but i want you to stick to stick in this situation if you feel comfortable enough to stay there because i really feel like there's somebody who's willing to give you what you need you just got to trust this on this way okay so i feel like it's going to be some type of pisces energy it feels like somebody who's really light and feathery and feminine um but obviously if you want a male they will be masculine as well there's somebody who is very highly psychic and very very um high sex drive as well someone who is very action orientated they have a very nice connection i'm trying to get rid of this light light but i'm sorry guys if you can see that um they have a really nice connection to their masculine and their feminine 
and uh, they are very driven as well which is really really nice they're going to make you feel so special and it's going to be really really weird because you're not used to that you're used to lacking and small and feeling yes just feeling very very small and uncomfortable but this is the crown and the root chakra so this is basically you being drawn to something that makes you feel safe but also enlightened and the seven of wands is very 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 powerful this is saying i have options and realizing like i keep getting you always pick the person that's right in front of you and you don't think if they're actually good for you or not you're you're just picking them because they're there which i totally understand if you've had a lack of love for such a long time that is a really normal response to that but i really want you to sit with your own feelings right now so when you do manifest your person they do come in you're not either going to reject them or you're not going to basically you know be scared of them enough to get into a relationship with them okay so money is going to be a really big um subject when you're around this person um you're most likely going to be changing your career you're most likely going to be gaining more money and you're most likely going to be feeling um, a lot lighter this is neptune by the way sorry guys if you can't see it um you're going to be feeling a lot lighter you're going to be feeling a lot more comfortable and you're going to be feeling like the winds of change are on their way basically your person is very worldly they most likely connect with people that are abroad um, they most likely connect with people from various different amounts of country different amounts of country <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> different countries okay um yes this person has a very high sex drive they are very aries orientated very pisces they're a soft but masculine energy um they're somebody who's extremely driven hard-headed but stu and stubborn but has gone through a lot and most likely um, has done a lot of healing, a lot of shadow work. Um, basically, I'm hearing, and I'm not going to be, I'm going to try not to be judgmental, like not trying to sound judgmental. But what I really want to say to you guys is this is resonates. Take it as resonates. It's not for everyone. Just don't get with somebody. They're telling me very direct. Don't get with somebody unless they've had therapy <laughs> on some level. Okay. And I say that with the most kindest of energy because at the end of the day, like, I'm saying it so authentically that's coming straight from my intuition. Like if I was to say it as myself, I would say, you know, that's not something I would normally say um, because everyone's on their own path. But for you guys, for this specific person I'm reading for, hi, you need to be with somebody who's had therapy of some kind because I'm hearing you need to be with somebody who accepts that they need assistance and someone who can accept assistance from other people. Because what this is gonna show is gonna show that they are humble, that they are in their feminine, that they are willing to change, that they are willing to see their own uh, quote unquote faults, um, and they're willing to change and they're willing to help themselves. Because you cannot have a relationship with somebody who's not willing to change and alter for the best of themselves and the relationship. Because in the day, if they're not doing it for themselves, then they're not doing it for anyone because it all starts with them. So you need to be with somebody who's willing to do the work. Um, and that's just a really blunt opinion, like, cause that needed to come out that message. Cause I feel like for a lot of you guys is you go for the person that, that is first in front of you. And I know I keep saying that, but it's obviously a very strong message. And you need to be with somebody who is respectful, who's gentle, who's got a gentle, loving energy, who provides, who is somebody who sees you for who you are, not somebody who just wants you for your vagine or whatever, <laughs> who wants you for your body. Um, you don't wanna be with somebody who wants you for your body. You wanna be with somebody who sees you and loves you and cuddles you and does all the things that you want with them. Um, yeah, authenticity and <laughs> if I could title this reading, it would be Authenticity and Therapy. <laughs> that is so funny. So that's your reading. I hope that resonates. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you very soon. Rates and Crystal show up below. And yeah, I will speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's going on for you guys in your love life, your singles energy. Let's see, let's see the honest truth of what's going on lovely we have expanded vision that is so nice and as you can see she's kind of looking out to her to whatever is going on in her world and i feel for a lot of you guys you're meant to be very still right now you're meant to be very observant that's kind of what um you're being called to do we have reflection of the wise which is all about that crown chakra all about you being um i'm hearing i'm reflected and i'm accepted so what i'm seeing is you are basically accepting yourself for um, your natural ability to be wise and um, mature, like really listening to yourself. Okay, 
there we go regal leader you guys are meant to be a leader and you are meant to basically weave your web right now and make your life your own you guys are so in just this beautiful you're engorged in this transformation i don't even know if that's the right word but we have seeds of creation as well which is all about your creativity i really really want you guys to start thinking about how to get more creative in your life and this could be anything from going for a walk every day and giving yourself lots of options of where to go and also this this all this could be you know um just making your work life a little bit more different for yourself changing it up things like that like i really feel for you guys it's going to be different for everyone of course but i really feel like you guys are advancing very 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 quickly no spurp sorry guys if you heard that um you guys are advancing very very quickly you guys are meant to be in a time at this moment you're in a time where you're not putting up with any bullshit anymore and we have this regal leader and this is basically you you have a lot of knowledge and i feel like you're going to be or are sharing it with the world and that's the type of person that you're going to attract in as well um, i feel like for a lot of you guys because you are so effing special and you're so different than a lot of people that is why you are waiting and you are not in a relationship and it's okay to not be in one it's not that you you know the relationship is never an end goal because you're always going to be learning and growing you your life doesn't stop the moment you meet a person that doesn't happen but that's what we've been taught it's like oh happily ever after done that's your life it's like no you are going to change you're going to be someone who changes and, and is is accepting yourself for who you are and i think what's happening here is you're really seeing your authentic side and that is coming in fully 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 i feel like you guys are like kind of like i'm hearing 50 percent more um more ahead than the first group i don't know how to explain it but basically you know your worth you're really putting into practice now so it could be that you are uh, putting yourself in a position where you are exercising more you're putting more energy into your mind your body your spirit whatever it is whatever it is basically your life is advancing and it's going it's, it's moving very very quickly um, you are most likely going to attain a house very soon you're most likely going to attain more money you're most likely going to attain a holiday or some type of travel and along with that is going to be new people and one of those people is going to be your future partner and you may not attract every single thing I said, like all in one go and that in that order. It could be you attract your money, then you attract your home or whatever. Whatever it is, you're basically being asked to really expand your vision as much as possible. So if you want to go somewhere and do something, you are heading towards that. And sometimes it takes that first little step or big step to really go towards it. Whether it be changing your environment, getting out your old environment, cutting ties with other relationships, clearing out your wardrobe, whatever it is, I want you to start moving towards the life that you want. Okay, and it, I don't mean that really annoying, as much as I did like the law of attraction, it is quite toxic. Some of it is quite toxic where it's like, clean out your wardrobe for your man. It's like, but I need that wardrobe for myself. Because <laughs> what that's basically telling you is it's like, well, I'm not gonna use that wardrobe until my man comes. And it's like, no, like you, you need that wardrobe. So what you're gonna, I feel like is the, more, the more authentic version of the law of attraction, which the law of attraction is great, but the more authentic version is I'm gonna build my life for me. And then my man or my woman will come along and, and will insert themselves into my life when they're ready. And I will insert myself into their life when they're ready. And that's what a relationship is all about. And, I'm, and I mean this for friendships as well. You know, you're meant to meet people at the right time and you are definitely weaving your web. And I'm hearing, I'm sorry you're having to go through such a slow, enduring process, but <clears throat> basically it's like Lego. You're kind of building one brick at a time and it might take a little bit longer. Some people take, you know, you can give a Lego project to five different people and they'll all build it at different times. That's life. That's basically what life is like. It's like some people will build their house super quick. Some people will build it one brick at a time. Some people will build it one clump at a time. It's like you've got, you've got to make sure you're doing it for your life and people won't understand it a lot of the time. Most of the time, if people don't understand it, that's actually a really good thing. Um, stripy uh, leaves and feathers are a massive omen for you. Look out for those. That's going to show you you're on the right path, okay? The colour yellow is very significant as well. It's to do with that solar plexus. Um, it's getting you back in your power. It's showing people like, I am on the right path. Okay, so we're going to have a look at any new energies coming in. But first, before we do that, we're going to pull some of these cards and we're going to see um, any themes that are around your life right now. What are you focusing on? Whoop, what are you focusing on? 
I'm seeing a massive, massive relationship coming forward with a woman. Um, sorry, same gender relationship. So if you're a, a woman, you're going to attract a female. Um, if you're a male, you're going to attract a male. And I really feel like this, this person is going to heal you in some capacity. And I don't mean that they're going to properly like be the one to heal you. Like no one can actually heal you. you you're the one healing yourself. But there's something that this person says or does that's going to click you into high gear. It could be basically what I feel is a lot of you guys, and take this as it resonates, but this feels very, very strongly as a message. It feels like you've done pretty much most of your healing you need to do before manifesting a partner. There's just one little clump I'm seeing, this little insert in the timeline of your life before you meet your man over here or your woman. It's a tiny little insert here. And what this is, is this going to be filled by this person? It could be something they say. It could be you have therapy by them, Reiki. You could get a healing session. You could go to a group where this person's there. Um, whatever it is, this person is going to push you to where you need to be. So say they might message you on Instagram or Facebook and say, we've got this going on. Do you want to come along? Or they may message you and say, you know, um, do you want to meet up for coffee? Whatever it is, there's something there that says you are being invited. <clears throat> After this, you're going to meet your person. This person is the key to meeting your relationship. Okay. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> so we have stop. Boundaries, blocks, challenges. What is blocking you now? Make space to consider this. Step back from challenges, say no, or put up boundaries. This is why it's been so difficult for you because you have not been taught that boundaries are okay. You've been taught the boundaries are just something people say and it's all bullshit and it's very toxic and you know, oh, you don't need boundaries because basically what you what has happened in your life is you've had a lot of toxic, narcissistic type people around you. And whether they're classed as narcissists or not, I'm hearing I don't care, it's actually more to do with how they're treating you. So if you've had people that treated you really badly, people who treat you badly are benefiting off of your lack of boundaries. So say if you are always doing stuff for that person, if you say no and they get angry, it's because they, they can't be manipulated by you. You can't, they can't manipulate you anymore. That's basically what they're saying. So get comfortable with saying no and get comfortable with people being irritated with you. If you're putting down an authentic boundary and say, I can't do that for you anymore and they get angry, great. That means you're on the right path because that person is now triggered by you having some sort of self-love, <laughs> you know, that they possibly can't have for themselves, which is really unfortunate, but sometimes it has to happen like that. So basically what you are doing is you are healing past wounds and you're bringing in more love to move forward. And what you're needing to do is have a shit ton of space from certain people. Um, I really feel like you need to have space and yeah, definitely do that. And I feel like for you, you're releasing a lot of baggage around people uh, having a hold on you. Okay. Fears, traumas and emotional baggage, very intense. And then once we move, once we start revealing what this is and you start looking at it, you're like, oh my God, this is happening, this is happening. It's very much to do with the mother and father, I feel. Once you start looking at that, you're gonna meet your person. They're on your path, okay? I'm hearing, I'm on the path to freedom. That's basically what you are leaning into right now, okay? Your path is gonna look very different to others. I want you to take as much from your, your own intuition as possible, of course, using other people as assistance, like, you know, say this reading or, you know, friends or anything like that. Um, but basically you're growing out of your old shell because that shell was very tight. It didn't really fit you in the first place, but unfortunately we had to be there because that was our karma. And you are now growing and you don't, you're not a caterpillar anymore. You are the butterfly and the butterfly needs more space because it has wings. So the caterpillar can easily crawl through little spaces and deal with the minimum. But as soon as it becomes that butterfly, it needs to fly off. It needs to explore stuff by itself. That's basically what you're being drawn to do. And it's fucking terrifying sometimes. Um, but what I feel for you guys is you are basically, it says, destiny may bring changes that are better aligned with your journey. You're always on the right path, which is exactly what I feel for you guys. That is so, so, so true. And you never know, this could actually draw you straight to your person, you know? So let's see. I actually, do you, know what, do you want to do? Yeah, okay. We're going to do a rune first. I'm going to do a couple of cards like these cards, and then I'm going to do a couple of runes. I feel like I need to just pull you these different cards first. There we go. You're definitely being drawn to travel more, to experience more. Um, maybe try a different career, try a different job, uh, talk to some random people, um, you know, try maybe like going on for different walks, going on for different run, try a different group, do different exercises, because basically you're coming out of this ego. You've been taught to feel small, 
so that's all you feel like you deserve so it is uncomfortable to try new things uh, but that's why it's uncomfortable because you're never supported because actually trying new things actually isn't that scary it's only because when you were trying different things in the past you weren't supported in it you didn't have someone saying it's going to be fine it's going to be okay you had people who were naysayers and who, who were stressful and you know pointed out things that were basically just really stupid <laughs> in the first place <laughs> like you know people saying like, oh what if people don't like you and it's just all these fears that people put on you that aren't even yours it doesn't need to be put on you anymore you're done with that all about getting mature okay let's put these runes down first okay my lovelies let's see what you're attracting in your love life let's see what these are all about we have the first one here we have is destiny i mean come on <laughs> that's amazing um fate chance secrets and the unknown that's exactly why you are on this path of confusion because you're meant to not know what's going on because i feel like there's definitely a blockage in this group not your type of blockage it's like an energetic blockage basically saying vicky you can't look anywhere past where i'm meant to be going so basically there's a door here that i'm not meant to cross intuitively so there's something here that you're going to learn by yourself that's going to bring you towards your person this says one thing that's quite large that you're going to learn through this experience that's going to bring you to your person i'm just giving you clues i can't give you exactly what's going on obviously because this is a general message but what i feel like is it's definitely something that you're meant to learn by yourself that you're not meant to know before it happens so basically no one's ever going to tell you it's just going to happen and that's going to bring you towards your person okay conflict defense strength and protection and that is why you have to put up boundaries because a lot of people are trying to take your energy and that is why you need to have some really strong um strong 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 boundaries okay you are so friggin deserving and you have a lot coming towards you so get really really excited um your life is gonna look very different within the next five months possibly to a year it's going to look very very different um and i i i can hear um okay words i'm hearing it's going to look different all the time you are listening to yourself if you stop listening and you stop going with what your body needs of course it's hard because we've got to work and things like that you know it's not an ideal world right now but if you are doing little tiny things where you're thinking oh i really need to say that to that person i'm going to talk to them or oh, i really want to earn more money i'm going to talk to my boss um, or you know what i can't do this job anymore i'm going to quit little like little or big things like that is going to change your friggin life um, because we are not meant to be stuck in places humans are natural travelers we're not actually meant to stay in one place um, i don't feel so what i'm feeling for you is you're going to get a new opportunity most likely through a career change or some type of your like it's something to do with your needs and it's to do with money it's like you're asking for more you're needing more and what it's going to do is it's going to make you feel really really sexy it's going to make you feel really good and it's going to make you feel empowered and it's going to bring in your person because your person is now ready for you because your person is very empowered your person demands for what they want obviously in an authentic way not like you have to do this for me no they're very authentic um and you're no longer feeling very you're no longer feeling really 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 small and shrunken down and uncomfortable okay this ace of wands is just a massive confirmation so you could meet your person possibly through career um or just through a life change so it's going to be very different for everyone um we can have a look and see in the tarot though see if they want to give us any more information your person's so special like i'm not actually getting the messages there we go ten of cups there we go that is a strong message that's actually a very strong message they're just not giving me specifics like normally i get quite specific on things but i'm trying to get it yeah we've got the full that is lovely brand new beginnings that's that root chakra basically you're working on your safety right now which is why things have just felt so shaky i'm hearing my safety is shaky okay so we have the ten of cups eight of cups eight of coins you are looking at all the things that are in your life right now and you're counting what's good for you and what's not which is really good a lot of people will never look at what's good what's bad for them because they don't want to admit it because when they do admit it that means they've got to make some changes humans like the same stuff even though we are travelers we do like familiarity and unfortunately that does keep us very trapped okay this is what you are attracting all the time that you're working on that solar plexus you're working on your self-worth your confidence you're working on focusing on joy and being playful and having fun you're going to meet your person because your person is so ready for that like your relationship that you're going to attract is so playful and fun and joyful 
um, that's something that you definitely deserve, which is oh, so, so, so beautiful. Your person, you might even meet them at a party because I'm, I'm hearing a crowd of people in a, in a room. Um, it might even be like a shopping mall, something that's got a lot of people. It could even be a restaurant and just hearing lots of background noise. You know, in like cartoons or in like rom-coms, they insert, um, they sometimes insert um, clips, like uh, voice clips of just groups of people in the background, like noise, background noise that you'd have in like a cafe or something. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like there's definitely a significant amount of noise behind you when you're both meeting each other. You don't have to force yourself to meet your person though. No. There's no, nothing you actually have to do where it's like, okay, oh my God, this opportunity has come towards me. I have to take it. It's like, no, you don't. If you're not ready to take it, why would you take it? That's you being, that's you choosing what you think you need. It's like, no, actually choose what you want. You don't want to do that? Great, don't do it. You don't want to take that job off? Great, don't do it. It's like, because at the end of the day, if you're doing things out of things you don't want to do, you're, you're not going off the path, but you're making your life harder. <laughs> you're making your life harder for yourself. All right, so your person, like I say, randomly is just gonna come in. The Pluto is all about that instant, instant random change. And you are moving away from loads of old patterns. I'm talking family, ancestral crap. I'm talking massive, massive baggage that needs to go, which, you know, you've been holding on to for such a long time, but it's not you anymore. Um, I'm seeing surprises coming in. I'm seeing new people coming in. Your self node and your descendant is what you're focusing on right now. So whatever is opposite your rising sign and also your self node, that's basically you're letting go of all of that, which is all the past. And anything to do with the home is just gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. And then we have progress journey. Yeah, beautiful. I wanna have a look and see actually. I wanna pull some cards on this person that's coming in. Tell me about them, please. Tenth house, Chiron. So it's definitely to do with their self-worth as well. This person has been really, really manipulated. They have been so badly manipulated. They have been messed around by people, a specific gender as well, because they just really have been going through the ringer with it. Definitely, let's pull you some dice as well. Okay, this person has had a lot of intense people who kind of tell them what to do and what this is basically doing is forcing you and this person to get back in your power and your person feels to me like they look they look to me like they're from a tropical or hot country um, or they could have ancestors from there they could be their parents are from there but they're from your country I'm seeing like a deep a deep I'm seeing deep Arabic roots uh, deep Japanese roots possibly uh, I'm seeing Austrian, so I know, I know it's not all hot countries, but that's what I'm getting. I'm seeing Australia, I'm seeing a lot of like extreme weathers from these countries and your person looks like they are from there. Their parents are from there most likely. They don't actually have to be born in that country. Their parents could be from there. But basically your, your person is a definitely a different background to you. Or they look like they're from a different background. So say one of you is American and you look, you know, white American with brown hair, you know, very typically American, you know, typically American. I don't know what Americans are typically meant to look like because we've all kind of blended in now. So I'm gonna say typically American. And then the person looks typically Japanese. You both then come together and you both look very different but you are from say America, but this person who is, has Japanese background, their parents, one of the parents could be Japanese, you know, something like that. I don't know why I keep talking about backgrounds, but that's what I need to say. <laughs> oh my God, okay. This person could also be very involved in languages and translating, things like that. They love travel. They find so much um, joy in, in travel. So it doesn't even have to be like long distance. It could be that they love to cycle, they love to run, they love to go for walks, all that beautiful stuff. Lots and lots of changes happening here. Feels really, really good. It feels so interesting as well. It feels like a really big momentous moment for you guys. So is, is there any other ones that want to come out? I think, that's, I think that's it for today. So that is your reading. I hope that resonates with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Rates and crystal shot are below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group three, let's get started with your reading and let's see what's going on for you guys within your singles life. Let's see some honest truths possibly from the universe and let's see what mystery message wants to come through. So 
we have awakening the child in the reverse. So that is just majorly obvious what that is. Um, what that's showing me is there's some massive inner child stuff that wants to come through. Um, you're being asked to really connect with your inner child, really connect with that light part of you that wants to just express and come forward. And I feel like for you guys, as you've been really bummed out recently and your passions have just been very, like it's been feeling like lackluster, you've not been feeling very passionate. So basically, this is just a very short moment in your life. Um, a lot of you guys just need to hear that this isn't gonna last forever. You're not gonna feel low forever. It isn't gonna feel, um, you're not gonna feel not creative. It's gonna, it's gonna come back. Your creativity is gonna come back. Um, creativity is like kind of up and down, like waves. Um, and we have the light of your love and sister of the rose. You're probably gonna meet some women or same gender friends and then you're going to meet your man or your woman um, after that because I see that what you're learning to do is to be in community you've had so much of your life where you felt very separated and you felt very different and uncomfortable and not loved and you're going to get used to first being around people who authentically love you and then you're going to meet your person because basically what it is is getting you to be more vulnerable with yourself is getting you to be more comfortable with entertaining being around and entertaining the idea of being around people that love you and just don't need don't need you but want to be around you like that's that's what relationships should be it's like i don't need you in my life i don't need anything really from you i just want to be around you because your energy is so amazing like that's kind of what you're feeling and i feel for you is i really want you to stop taking life so seriously that's what i'm really feeling um you take life very very seriously which is what we conditioned to feel okay so it's nothing bad but what i feel is that you guys because you, you take life so seriously because you've been taught to do that, really, from a very young age. Um, it could be through religious ways or, you know, fa family ways or things like that. Basically, you are the bridge between where you are now and where you're going to be. So you are the one to make those moves. And I feel for a lot of you guys is to just see yourself as a human being and realise that you can get really playful with yourself. Do so many different playful things that are just really random that you may cringe at yourself for but i want you to get really really cringy that's basically what i'm what i'm feeling for you guys um and especially because we have divine passion you guys are learning to come back into your passionate side um which is all to do with you taking up space um it is being really comfortable with not having to you know explain yourself to people and feeling really really free that's basically what you're coming into which is so beautiful i love that so much okay so let's get you a couple of tarot cards actually no let's get you a couple of these cards first let's see what themes are coming up for you guys lovely you got a lot of knowledge that's going to come through you're learning a, you're going to learn a lot from this um from what's been going on for you this reminds you of like the two versions of you. It's like the critical and like the the critical and the childlike side of you. Okay, it says, discover knowledge to empower you. Be guided by your inner voice. Your instincts will never lead you astray. Then we have moon and then we have care. Deep feelings, trauma and shadows. Shadows hold old pain and traumas. What needs to come to light in order to process, heal and release? And then we have care is needed for healing. Provide nourishment, kindness, compassion, acceptance, or protection for yourself or others. So basically, it's just taking your sweet, sweet time. Sweet time. That's a song by um, Ravina. Oh, she's such a beautiful soul. Her music is really, really nice. Her name's Ravina. I think it's spelled R-A-V-E-E-N-A. -E -E she's gorgeous as well. She's so pretty. Okay. So we have connect with your higher self for guidance. Your journey involves experiences or lessons for your soul growth. I feel for a lot of you guys is you guys have been really struggling with the thought of being single. I think a lot of you guys may be entertaining a connection that's not good for you just so you don't so you just so you're not single anymore and the confirmation is you don't deserve to be around people who treat you badly just to not be single that's not you know that's going to keep you trapped for a very long time it's going to keep you feeling low so basically the main thing for you guys is to really take care of yourself to look after yourself and be super 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 kind to yourself okay and your higher self is basically saying we don't deserve this anymore like the reason why you're feeling so stuck is because you're around people who make you feel stuck Okay, you're being asked. You're, you're being asked to like really push yourself uh, to a point where you can really um, 
just feel comfortable again. Like you're gonna see a lot of rainbows as well. When your life starts to shift, you're gonna to start to see a lot of rainbows. I feel like this group is gonna be really short, but let's see. Definitely healing um, wounds around the father figure, wounds around the father's side. Don't be afraid of your fears. Don't be afraid of your shadows. Like they are there to protect you. A lot of you guys feel like you don't have a lot of options at the moment. Um, you're actually being given a lot of options. We have, I feel like at this moment, you have a lot of cloud, clouded judgment about yourself um, and you're releasing a lot of wounds, a lot of wounds to do with not being free and being forced to think for other people and be responsible for other people and you're coming out of that now. So your person that you're attracting in the future is going to be someone who thinks very freely, who doesn't go with what everyone wants, who has very strong opinions and also really is very, very expressive. And you're gonna meet this person once you start to get comfortable with collaborating with others and groups and things like that. You're gonna naturally have um, options. You're gonna naturally have people coming in that are gonna help you with getting comfortable with being around just human beings and being around people who are accepting. Um, I'm picking up like hematite. That's the energy. It's like very grounded, um, stable and long-term, but it's also, it's an, hematite's a very inviting crystal. It kind of pushes you to um, like lean into stuff, like lean into your feelings, lean into, um, yeah, just opportunities. Because what it does is it, it gives you a safe space so you can invite yourself into those opportunities. Um, and then we have the Empress. A lot of you guys want to have a family, possibly a, uh, a blood related family, so babies and things like that. That is definitely on the cards for you, for a lot of you guys. And of course, this isn't a factual reading. This is for entertainment purposes only, so just take it as it resonates. But what you're being asked to do is to really be okay with not getting results straight away. That's a really big message for you. Be okay with not getting results straight away because basically, when you were a child, we are very, very explorative and we don't need that validation to, make, to get us to move forward. But unfortunately, we don't get any type of validation we end up as chronically anxious adults, okay? So what you're basically needing to do is to come back to play and fun as much as possible, fill that cup up with pleasure and gifts and innocence and joy, and then you're gonna meet your person who makes you feel full and free. And I feel for you, I'm picking up like July, June, um, and I'm also picking up on the number three. So things like, you know, the year of 2023, it could be three months, three years. And um, the third month, it could be they are an A, Aquarius, they are a Aries, and they could be um, a Capricorn as well, this person that's coming in. Someone who just feels extremely free and extremely um, responsible. They're, very, they're a very, very responsible person. They're not gonna stop you from feeling uncomfortable, but basically, ah, a Scorpio, that makes sense. There's somebody very deep as well. There's somebody very compassionate, spiritually awake, intimate, yep, Pisces, lovely you're drawing in more emotionally stable people who are really, really connected to their heart chakra, who really love to go deeply into those emotions because you so desperately need that intimacy. Um, you've, been, you've been lacking that intimacy for so long because it hasn't been available for you. Um, we, are meant to be, we are meant to be shown how to feel safe from such a young age. And if we're not shown that, if we're not shown that being emotional is okay and feeling confused is okay and not knowing is okay, like that literally being a human being, then you're gonna grow up feeling anxious. So it's really getting comfortable with listening to yourself and that sometimes takes shadow work or therapy or things like that. But what I see for you guys, <laughs> you've got cancer as well. You guys are bringing in so many beautiful water signs into your life and these people are gonna make you feel free and good. So connect to that inner child and then I feel like you're gonna really quickly, very quickly meet these uh, water signs. That is pretty much your reading. Um, I am gonna pour you a rune before we finish. Your group is more of a shorter group, but that's kind of what I feel like it was gonna be anyway. Lovely. Moving on up, moving on down. Let's get you a little book. Leadership, honor, bravery, and self-sacrifice. A lot of you guys have been in situations where you feel like you have to sacrifice yourself to stay there. And what I feel is you gotta step into that leadership role and be a leader and to be what you would want your, say you'd want your, what, how you'd want to be parented. That's how you want to parent yourself. So say if you want to take this job offer, but you're really scared that you're not good enough, say to yourself, do I want this job? And if it's a big fat yes, 
go for it. It's things like that, like giving yourself an opportunity to just go for it. Like don't worry about any mistakes because you can't make a mistake. We only make mistakes if we don't fucking learn anything, but we learn from everything. So you literally cannot make a mistake. It's about letting go of all this perfectionism and really stepping into that beautiful power that you have. So that is your reading. Have a great day. Um, get into your imagination, listen to some tunage, some music, and just jam out and have a great time. So thank you so much for watching. Rates and crystals show up below, my lovelies, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Oh, also, one last thing. If you have a bath in your house, take some baths on any full moon because that will really help you to just relax into any harsh feelings that you're feeling. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.